Steve, uh, hey Ari, um, everybody, uh, good to be here. I've got a, a, a HR um, advisory and consulting business uh, based here in Sydney um, to to help small businesses with general issues with people, culture, and HR. So I've got a question for you, Ari. Um, where uh, it actually just happened overnight. So um, we did a piece of work for a client where right. we they asked us to do an audit of all their documentation. Right. We did, and we gave them a full report, and these are all the issues, and these are all the gaps, and these are all the things you need to plug. Uh -huh. And we explained to them that, that these are the risks by not plugging them, um, which, which they paid for that. And that was fine. And then what we did was they said that they want to think about what they want to do in terms of the next steps, in terms of them doing the work or us doing the work. Now, they don't have internal HR expertise, and obviously we do. So we had planned a scheduled uh, an appointment for um, for later for, for the following week so that we can talk about what the, what the next steps of the project will be. Overnight, the person's just declined the meeting. No explanation just declined and it may be legitimately they cannot make the meeting but there's no explanation and I guess the question for you is um, what's the next move because uh, certainly I don't want to go chasing chasing but at the same time they've still got this problem um, and I'm just wondering sort of what your recommendation or what you would think about the next move would be sure sure Nick well, let's go back for a second so on this call with them you walked them through the results of your assessment, right? Absolutely. And on yeah. that assessment, it listed out all the issues that you discovered. That's correct. Yes. Okay. Yeah. In, on in that call, detail. Sure. And on that call, besides the fact that you walked through your report of the results of that report, did you walk them through and help them sort out what you believe the priorities would be for them to help them with their business? What, what I'm suggesting to you is I think what you did was you reported the results mm -hmm. and that was it. And you scheduled a next call with them, right? That's right. Well, okay. That, that, this is where the gap ha has occurred. I believe what I'm suggesting to you is this, and I'll give you an idea to get them back. But before we get there, let's just talk about this. When you have a client like this on a zoom meeting and you've exposed the problems, uh, that's just the starting point with them. The next part, once you're talking about the problems, you have to go down the iceberg with them again on each problem and help them sort out what the impact is for each one and then help them on that meeting prioritize what is the first issue to deal with that has the biggest impact, the second one, and the third one. Because what's happened right now is they've gone back to their office. They're very busy. They have a stack, a list of issues to deal with. And they probably said, you know what? I got too much going on right now to deal with this. And they put aside the guy declined your meeting because what happens is people have a tendency to deprioritize things that are not priorities. <laughs> so we, as the doctor, have to help the patient understand these are your issues, John. You have a back issue, you have a knee issue and a toe issue. But here is the first priority, which I believe you should be working on now. And that's the knee issue, because if you if the knee goes down, the whole thing goes down. I would recommend. So does that make sense, Nick? It does, yeah. It completely makes sense, yeah. yeah. Just do a deep dive. I probably didn't do enough of the, here's what we recommend in terms of priority. You only reported it. You didn't amplify the gap to help them understand the importance, the gravity, the timing, and the urgency of those issues and what should be addressed first because that's the one that's hurting them the most. Sure. Okay. Sure. That's the first lesson in that one next time around. Okay. Now, Thank you. To get <laughs> to get them back, we got to find out, or you got to find out, if it's still a priority for them uh, to address them. You know, I think what you have to come back to them with some is with some is with some insights. You got to call the call, call the guy back and say, "Hey, John, how's it going? It's Nick here. Listen, I've been thinking about our report that we walked you through on Friday, and I have some more insights for you that we might want to." talk about that might provide some help in prioritizing and sorting out what might be a, a, a working plan or a roadmap or a priority to possibly address in a time that might work for you. Would you be open to have a chat about that? Okay. It's, it's like a baby step back, 
But it's like it's an insight to help them because they need this. They need their own clarity on what to do first, what makes sense, and what's the plan. Okay. Because they were left without a plan. Yeah. So it's not about you calling to say, hey, are you going to move things forward with me? That's not the conversation. It's I have some more insights that help provide some clarity, I think, that might kind of help sort out a, a roadmap around this that might give you more clarity as well. Would no, you folks be open to that? Okay. Great. Thank you. Perfect. You're off the races. <laughs> <laughs> I hope so. Take Thanks, care, Aaron. Man.